Town Hall 12 is going to overwhelm some of you that open up that laboratory for the very first time and see those high prices and those insanely long upgrade times. And it's going to be a real test of your patience and your ability to farm at this level. Now, there's one thing that's really cool about Town Hall 12 is all the different troop combinations that you can use to three star with. Plus, you have the siege machines and the super troops. So you could be left a little dazed and confused on what to upgrade first. Today, we're we're going to talk about some strategies on how to upgrade in your laboratory at Town Hall 12, as well as when to start upgrading those siege machines and my personal guide for what I'm going to upgrade first. What's going on guys? My name is Joe and welcome back for episode 5 of the Town Hall 12 free to play series. As you can see our laboratory has concluded its upgrade for 8 days. We've been at Town Hall 12 for about 7 full days and that Valkyrie that was inside upgrading has concluded its upgrade. So now we can start getting some stuff down in the laboratory. But the one thing about free to play is that we're going to need to make sure that we manage our magic items wisely and we're also going to need to farm a lot when it comes to keeping this laboratory upgrading things at all times so before we get into this laboratory and upgrade our very first item let's jump over to the class ninja website because i want to show you what we're about to get ourselves into the upgrade prices and times are through the roof as of the recording of today's video now this will naturally change in the future when they add new town hall levels the prices and times will reduce but as of right now town hall 12 is the second highest town hall level in this game so naturally they do not want us maxing out really really fast until they get future updates out so we got barbarians archers goblins that are 12 day upgrades everything else for the most part is a 14 day upgrade so we're gonna definitely need to have magic items those hammers of fighting those hammers of spells to make sure that we can speed up the progress in our laboratory as quickly as possible and then we also have the siege machine that we have to think about as well which we'll talk about more in depth near the end of this video because we got a wall wrecker battle blimp and a stone slammer we got to upgrade our siege machine workshop two more times after it concludes its upgrade and then we got to upgrade siege machines but when should you do that that's the real question here right and then we also got the yeti now let's go ahead and take a look at the spells real fast and the spells are looking like 13 days 11 days uh, and 12 hours 11 days and 12 hours so we got some slightly lower times on our spells opposed to our actual troops and then the same thing happens when we go into our dark troops our dark troops are 14 days 12 days 14 days and it just keeps going on and on and then we also have to unlock the headhunter so we got a really long grind when it comes to town hall 12 and upgrading things in our troops so the way i see this instead of giving you individual troops in an upgrade priority guide i feel Feel like we should upgrade full armies does that make sense instead of just upgrading a dragon or an electro dragon and then upgrading something completely different like a witch we need to really focus in on full armies finishing that army and then moving into another complete army that's what we're going to do today but before we get into that i got to show you the total time on this laboratory we got 16 months 19 days so this is where you really need to understand that those hammers are very important for speeding up the time in your laboratory just like we did down at lower town hall levels so now that you've seen how long it takes to max out the laboratory at Town Hall 12, it is time to get something down in the laboratory. Now, if you follow my series and you followed us through Town Hall 11, you are aware that we were holding on to a hammer of fighting to upgrade something in the laboratory first. Now, my first upgrade in this laboratory at level 10 is going to be the level 7 dragon. <laughs> tell these fine people to upgrade the dragon first you should upgrade that electro dragon first bud the electro dragon isn't always effective grandpa who cares if it's effective back in my day we want it easy <laughs> okay fine you got a really good point grandpa be quiet you're over here ruining my life jeez 
You could either do Electro Dragons or the Dragons. I got a specific army in mind. I'm going to be unlocking the Zapquake Dragon army first because the Earthquake spells at Town Hall 11 were already maxed out, so we don't really have to wait any longer for any additional spells other than the Lightning spell. So with all that being said, Electro Dragons and all, you could either swing a hammer on the Electro Dragon or the Dragons. Both are really good choices no matter how you look at the game. So we're going to go ahead and swing this hammer on this dragon and finish this upgrade instantaneously. Now, we also have to take into consideration the fact that we have Clan War League starting in exactly 13 hours and 38 minutes. Don't worry about that challenge. I will complete it. Don't worry about that. We're just going to go ahead and ignore that for right now. We're focused on the laboratory upgrade guide, okay? So we got the dragon completed. Now we need to get something down in the laboratory that's not going to really inhibit us and also take as long. So we got to think about the next spell, which would be the lightning spell, but the lightning spell also takes 13 days to upgrade, and we want to try to get something done while we're doing Clan War Leagues. Does that make sense? Since we will have all our heroes available for the Clan War Leagues, I'm thinking that we need to go ahead and upgrade our rage spell to level 6, which only takes 11 days and 12 hours. And this means that we can use two hammers after the Clan War Leagues, which we're going to talk about here in a moment. So let's go ahead and put down this rage spell for the next 11 days now let's jump into the full army that we're going to upgrade after this so today's upgrade priority guide is going to be slightly different from what you're used to. Instead of just dumping a long list of troops at you and saying that these are the things that you need to upgrade, I'm going to show you the armies that we're going to target first. We have so many things that we have to take into consideration. Clan War Leagues, the acquisition of magic hammers. We also have to think about our hero upgrades, and we also have to think about what armies are effective right now in the game. And this is what a family war was able to show me this past weekend. I saw a lot of dragon usage and i saw a lot of witches and super witches and super wizards so those are clearly the most popular armies right now in the game when regular players are using them in just about every single attack right so we already knew that the earthquake spell was maxed out for town hall 11 we just upgraded our dragon and we put down the rage spell just to get it knocked out during the clan war leagues once the clan war leagues concludes we will be using a hammer of spells on our light lightning spell and we will use a hammer of fighting on our baby dragon that's two different hammers that way we don't have to wait on a cooldown and the baby dragon can be used for both clan war and farming so level six uh, baby dragons for farming that's amazing right but you're gonna notice on the screen we got this live attack here or it's not necessarily live this is from the other night as a matter of fact but we got the lightning spells that cleared out buildings and we got the dragons working into this village but there's also other troops in this army that we we need to upgrade to be able to be at the maximum potential at Town Hall 12. So we have to think about our freeze spells and our wizards and our ice golems. So that's what we're going to do during the time frame that we are not in Clan War Leagues. We're going to be upgrading our freeze spell. Then we're going to back that up with the wizards. And then by the time the wizard starts, we should be going into our next Clan War Leagues. And since we don't upgrade heroes during Clan War Leagues, we can put down a dark elixir troop makes sense right we got some big brain stuff going on here right <laughs> so during the clan war leagues we're going to be upgrading the ice golem to level four and that's a really long upgrade in itself so we have to wait the time frame there and then after the clan war leagues has concluded we will have two more hammers that we can use you know what i mean but if we don't get a hammer of spells we can only get one hammer of fighting at a time and then we have a seven day cooldown after that so we have to take that into consideration as well so we're going to use a hammer on ice golem level five and then follow that up with a balloon upgrade for two weeks so i mean it's just one of those things it's a trade-off we use a hammer and then we upgrade a two-week upgrade and then we will use another hammer after that which will lead us into our no next army which is the witch we're going to use a hammer on the witch let me show you why we're going to use a hammer on the witch because this is just one army of many armies that we can use at Town Hall 12. 
So since we'll be using a hammer on our witch, that also opens up the opportunity for us to use the super witch in the future. And these are some things that we have to take into consideration in our laboratory upgrade guide, is that there are some troops, when you upgrade them to the next level, it also opens up the opportunity to use those super troops if you wanna change up your game and use that as well. So we used a hammer on our witch to level five, and then we also have to think about the upgrades or this particular army right here and there's multiple variants of this army we have the lightning spells the earthquake spells the witches the golems we've already concluded our ice golems by the time we get to this point you know we're going to use dragons for a little while and then we're going to work into a different army that way we don't get bored with the game you know and so we're going to unlock the witches and then we're going to upgrade our golems to level eight for 12 days and then we'll be in the next clan war leagues it all ties together so when we're in the next clan war leagues and we have all those heroes back we can upgrade the bat spell to the next level for nine days and so that's dark elixir spent we're not sitting on dark elixir for a really long time and we're also upgrading another spell that we can use with our dragon so that way we can start working into the drag bat if we want to because that is also very popular at town hall 12. then we're going to finish up the clan war leagues and have another hammer of fighting that we can use on golem level five and that way that's an instant upgrade so then we can put down our giants for upgrade that way we can unlock the super giants if we want and then i think we're going to finish up this with grant and you know gaining another hammer from that prior clan war leagues and upgrading the pekka and that's kind of where i'm going to end it right now when it comes to upgrading troops in the laboratory that's literally like three or four months worth of troop upgrades in the laboratory plus or minus a few days now you could be asking about the hybrid attack why didn't you target the hybrid first why didn't you unlock the miners or upgrade them first and the thought process behind the hybrid is the fact that you have to do a lot of queen walking and so i feel like when you need to do a queen walk you need to have the hero levels to do the queen walk and so sure you might be able to queen walk right now as a town hall 11 versus low weighted town hall 12s but when you start facing off against those high level town hall 12s you're gonna need to have that level 65 queen so this is why i held off on the hybrid you can always unlock that earlier if you want that's your personal preference but again that's my reasons for holding off on the hybrid for right now as well as the balloon armies because i need to get some levels on my heroes i'm trying to be a little bit more realistic in my upgrade priority guide what is an easier army that we can use right now with low level heroes that way we can build up into other things later on down the road we have to go in succession when it comes to where we're at in the game right now and where we're going to end up so we talked about the troops that I'm going to upgrade first and the armies that I'm going to target first over the next three or four months. I mean, they're all really long upgrades, so we got to really just be patient with the game and hope that we can get those troops unlocked as soon as the game will allow us to, you know what I mean? But we also have to think about future updates and we also have to take into consideration another army becoming really popular and effective in the game. We'll just have to see how it plays out. So we're going to finish up the video on Siege Machines because Siege Machine and the upgraded those siege machines might change based on the type of clan that you are in this is so important guys if you are in a really large clan you don't necessarily need to worry about siege machines as much because you can request them in your clan castle request and get them from your counterparts or your clan mates if you got a lot of town hall 12s or town hall 13s in your clan then you can afford to kind of proceed with the earlier upgrade guide but if you are in a smaller clan or if you are a clan leader or a co-leader or an elder that's trying to build a clan you will need to focus on your siege machines early in your laboratory upgrade guide because remember the siege machine workshop upgrades to level two to unlock the battle blimp and then it upgrades to level three to unlock the stone slammer then you got to go into the laboratory and you got to upgrade your wall wrecker battle blimp stone slammer two more times they go to level three at town hall 12 so these are some things that you need to take into consideration if you need to donate them to your clan mates more often than not and this is what sets a lot of clans apart from the small the other small clans being able to 
to donate siege machines is something that not a lot of clans out there can do and this will great you know this will definitely add some value to your clans by having the siege machine options if you upgrade them early in your priority list or use hammers on them whatever you choose to do but i feel like that's the best option for you smaller clans and you smaller clan leaders so hopefully all that information makes sense so that's my guidance regarding the, the siege machines because they are very important but thankfully for me i do have the maxed out town hall 13 that way i can donate to myself not everybody has that option and that is something that we always have to think about hopefully you're able to get something out of today's video and if you enjoyed the content make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe if you have not done so already and if you like watching us quite regularly turn on those notifications if you need any additional video support or you would like to see this base from the very beginning click one of those links over there and we will see you in the next one guys take care